Defence Minister Rajnath Singh today flew in the Tejas fighter aircraft from the HAL airport in Bengaluru, becoming the first Defence Minister to fly in the indigenously built Light Combat Aircraft or LCA. The Defence Minister flew the fighter aircraft to boost the morale of officers who have been involved in the development of the indigenously made Tejas. So what is the Tejas? What is the history behind it? In India in the early 80s, it was realized that no organization existed which had the total capability to develop such an aircraft all on its own. The last time an indigenous fighter aircraft, the HF-24 Marut, flew was in 1961. Since then, the HF-24 assembly line had been shut down and the designer team had been wound up. The only way left was to develop an aircraft from scratch. In 1984, the government appointed the Aeronautical Development Agency to handle the LCA program along with HAL and other institutions. On January 4, 2001, a determined team headed by Dr. Kota Harinarayana successfully tested the first flight of their LCA technology demonstrator. Wing Commander Rajiv Kothial successfully flew the first flight of the prototype. The then Prime Minister Atal Vihari Vajpayee named the aircraft Tejas, which translates to radiance in Sanskrit. 28 long years after its conception, after several tests and multiple prototype vehicles making successful flights, the Tejas received its certification for release to combat service in 2011. On January 21, 2016, Tejas participated for the first time in an international air show in Bahrain. By this time, it had flown 3,061 sorties, adding 1,954 flight hours without a single accident. On July 1, 2016, after waiting in the wing for over 15 years since its first flight, two Tejas fighters were finally inducted into IAF's number 45 squadron, better known as Flying Daggers. Initially, the IAF had placed an order with the HAL for 40 Tejas aircrafts, but last year, the IAF issued the request for proposal to HAL for the procurement of another batch of 83 Tejas at a cost of over Rs 50,000 crores.